So first and foremost, I just wanna thank my mom and my dad. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, hi, I'm Sean. Welcome to the channel, I'm so glad you're here. Make sure you subscribe if you wanna see more. So today is Tuesday, it's April 9th. I definitely had to check. <laughs> But today's Tuesday, April 9th. I got my kids here with me. They're excited. They just, they love my energy. They like being with me. <laughs> but um, we're kind of waiting on my husband to get off work, get out of his last meeting of the day. I was watching my new vlog that just went out today. So if you haven't checked out my latest video, make sure you go do that and then come back so you can be all caught up on all the new house vlogs. I will put them in a playlist so you can just watch them all from the tour to now to be up to date. Um, not very many updates been happening lately, y'all. I've been like taking it easy for the past week or so. <laughs> I started 75 Salt on the 1st. So that has kind of taken over and I am filming that as well. So those videos will start coming out <laughs> in between some of these update videos. <laughs> My kids. Y'all excited? Yeah. So yeah. they're excited because our new kitchen table, our dining chairs just got here. Well, they didn't just get here, y'all. They've been here for hours, but they're here, so we're going to put those together. I was like, oh, I'm going to wing it and try to put them together myself, child. I don't know. I, listen, I ain't one of them, I don't need a man type of women, okay? If I had to, I would, but, you know, I'm sure he's going to come save the day, but I'm going to at least open a box and make sure everything's accounted for. I also ordered a coffee table, and it's supposed to be here Thursday, so I'm super excited about that. The last thing for down here, the last like major thing I want to get is something for the entryway to put shoes in. I'm debating one of those like built-in like mud bench things that come with the uh, like the seat, um, and then the hooks to hang stuff, or like just having it something similar to these. Where you just open it, put our shoes in there, have something on the top where we can drop keys and maybe a cute mirror on the top. That's that's kind of a vibe, so we might do that. I don't know. Um, so I'm still debating. And also, I picked out a rug for my living room just because my chairs that I got are black. There's a lot of elements of black in here, so I want to tie it together. My rug is really like cream beige um, gray because it kind of matched the old theme I did in the last house, which, you know... We're kind of switching things up, so I think I definitely need a new rug. So I picked one out. I haven't ordered it just yet, but I did pick one out. Um, I'll be ordering this sometime soon. And then I'm going to be ordering my chair. And we've decided, my husband's like, yeah, you need another bookcase. So we're going to get another bookcase and then leave one side open for my big oversized chair. And then it'll be time to hang curtains and all that. <laughs> Y'all, they done pulled up a chair, honey. Um... So I'm super excited about everything that's to come. Y'all excuse the way I'm looking. Y'all see my grays? <laughs> I literally took my hair down yesterday. And this morning after working out, I washed my hair and um, conditioned it and everything. And then I blow it, I like blow dried it. And I always put it in plaits um, once I'm done blow drying it. So it'll be like this at least for today. And then tomorrow maybe something different. Cheese. Y'all say cheese. Cheese. Thumbnail. <laughs> but anyways, um, so yeah, let's go. I'll show y'all the box. But before that, as far as like updates, little things that we've done, my husband actually figured out how to change the the little lights, the recess lights. They were hardwired, so a lot of people are like, you could just screw them out. Not these, y'all. These were hardwired. So he did change them, my little electrician bay. Okay, he changed the lights, so he changed ten of them downstairs and there's more upstairs but like you need a big 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 ladder to do those so we'll see if that happens but um i'll show y'all it looks so much better i don't even know if you could tell from this scene but it's brighter um the old lights were casting like weird shadows on the walls on all my videos it was like a little dark looked like moving shadow it looks so weird but it was just literally the shadows from that light so let me show y'all so like here you can see these lights are so bright my husband changed all these to like the little daylight led bulbs and i absolutely love them it's so bright in here hi kids and then the living room doesn't have the recessed lights, which I wish they did, but those are daylight bulbs as well. And then he also changed the ones in my office. So I love the new lights. Like it looks amazing in here. My kids want to be in the camera. <laughs> 
I'm just letting them have their moment if they want to have it. But um, yeah, so let's go and see what we can do with these chairs. I got to make dinner. Today's Tuesday, so it's Taco Tuesday, honey. Nothing too crazy. <laughs> so I'm going to kind of be flipping back and forth with like filming this video and my video for 75 Soft. But yeah, first the chair. I'm so excited about the chairs. I'm a little nervous because I was torn on what chairs to get. And I'm indecisive. Like, it takes me a very long time to make a decision. My husband was like, literally just order it. It's in the car. Like, go ahead. What are you waiting for? And I'm just sitting there like, ah, I don't know what to do, y'all. He straight up hit pay. And the payment went through because my card is already saved. So, yeah. <laughs> he literally was like, listen, you're doing too much. Just order the stuff. So, I do like them a lot. But I was just torn because I picked out a table that was different from my original thought. But if I love these chairs, they have matching bar stools that look just like it. So I'll get two of those eventually. Um, and I think it'll pull everything together. So yeah, let's get into these chairs. All right, I'm about to go try to bring this box in real quick. It's kind of big, but it really ain't that big. So I'm surprised that four chairs are in there. I'm a little nervous. I'm like, did y'all put all the chairs in there? Like all four of them? Cause when y'all see the box, you're gonna think the same thing. So this is a box, y'all. I don't know. I just expected it to be a lot bigger than this, but we'll see. Please open the box gently to avoid scratches to the product. Okay. Oh my gosh. You know what I don't like? When you open a box and styrofoam gets everywhere. It drives me. Like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Normally I would edit that out, but we just go rock with it. But <laughs> I know the styrofoam is supposed to protect the item, but I hate when it gets all over the floor. Hey you. Um here is the guide. I mean, okay, I could probably do this. <laughs> oh, I literally I'm horrible at reading directions. Like, I don't know how I'm so smart because when I read the directions, yeah. But we gonna see. Didn't wanna share my love till I found someone I'm sure of. Young and untamed. I've been out of range, keeping it low. It looks wrapped like really, really well. Oh, no wonder. The seats are okay. This might not be that bad, girl. Let him stare at it. All right, let's scan through the instructions. It, it doesn't seem like it would be like the most difficult thing in the world to do. We'll see. I'm the advice to assemble this product on a carpeted floor to protect it from being scratched. Thank you for telling me. Looks like I need to take it over to the living room. Okay. It's unnecessary to use electric drill. I need to tell my husband that because he's the king of let me get my drill. That part. Liquid spills should be removed immediately. Like, do, do these people not know I have children? I'm not about to babysit these chairs. We're we not doing that. Hi, baby. All right, let's see. Let's see. Maximum weight capacity, 300 pounds. Do not stand on the item. Whatever. One, two, three, four of those. And one, two, three, four of those. And then, um, I don't know how many of these it's supposed to have. Hopefully, it's the right amount. All right, let me, maybe I should actually be checking this. All right, let's open this. Y'all gonna watch me too. Y'all gonna struggle with me. You got two of y'all. Right, so I got two bags of these. And like four of those leg thingies, which is kind of weird because it's four chairs and four legs. That's like one chair worth the leg. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll figure it out when I open everything. Oh, I ain't getting them. Oh, this should be easy. I think I could do all of these. They don't look hard. It seems like since the, I thought you were going to have to like screw the seat to the, the back, you know, but I just don't want to open. Since that's already done for us. Yo, why can't I cut this string off? He said I was strong. Okay. I, I said I'm working on it. Let's get our tools out first. We, we need to organize this. All right. I'm really reading this. They said for me to do this on like a carpeted floor. 
So I'm either gonna go and get some blankets or I'm gonna come all the way over. Let's just do it on the road. I ain't got time. Come on. We got this. Hubby's here. He's laughing because he know his wife, child. But I, babe, watch. I'm gonna do one, okay? If I could do one, then you have to buy me the rug I want tonight. Let's shake on it. Do you can do one by yourself? If I could do one fully by myself with no help, you buy my rug tonight. Alright. Alright, shake on it. Y'all got faith in me. We getting this rug. Y'all doing this for y'all. Ah. Pray for me. I don't know how the lighting gonna be, but we're gonna see. I'ma put only one now. You gonna do three. Cause, cause listen. God gave me a hug before a reason. I'm already about to miss it. Yeah, she thought she could do anything. Thought she could get anywhere. Confident she's number one and if not You know what? I had to redo this one. I think it's going the wrong way. But this one looks right. Cause like this is wrong, clearly. Alright. I think we gotta redo the other one. I'm learning y'all. I don't be building no furniture. Before I had my husband, I had my daddy. And now that I have my husband, uh, what's the point of me doing this? Uh yeah. But I, I don't know. My husband would have bought the rug regardless, but I like to make it fun. Like, I earned this rug, period. That's if I get it. Wow. Wow, y'all. He don't have no faith in me. He ain't never seen me do it. So he's like, mm. But honestly, if I don't get it right, I'm just going to cry. You know what I get for crying? Whatever I want. That's where my kids get it from. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely put that one on wrong. He just let me. Um, yeah, this other side is looking real funny. So we're gonna have to take this off. <laughs> Lovely. Can't wait to do it again. Everybody's wrong. Used to be calm. Now I can't remember how I used to do it. That I was a member of confidence. Let me, before I waste my time. Okay. That looks good. All right, I'm proud of it. Let's, let's just, let's start over. Let's Okay, it is saying. Would you like to use a hint? This goes here, and it's facing up, huh? <laughs> Take that out of there. Oh my God, is that awful? That's not right. Oh, right here, duh. It's in here. All right, it's still wrong. No, you're good. It took me a while. You know, I don't know how to do this kind of stuff. Stop, you Blake about to get triggered. You keep laughing at his mother. One thing my kid's gonna do is have my back. Oh, how does this even remotely make any logical sense? But this is this one for sure. Who would rather be cooking dinner for my children? <laughs> my husband said I get clues, so I'm gonna I'm take him up on that in a minute. Every clue that you ask is $50 off. $50? How, that don't add up to a piece of furniture, sir. Uh, I thought you were going to rug. Yeah, rug. $50 less of a rug. No, thank you. <laughs> you don't want to help? Nope. <laughs> Y'all, we about to just wave the white flag and say we don't need a rug anyway. Like, what is going on with this step here? Maybe I need to set it where I can see it. Okay, there has to be a better way to do this. You want a hint? No. All right, I'll give you a free hint. What's the hint? <laughs> 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 what is it? Put the, put the rod in there first. Well, how this gonna go in? I had the rod in there first, and you were laughing at me like the loser I am. There's no way that fits in there. It's just not going. Let me check. That's the right one. I wish I had the same delusion that I do when I was two and didn't think that I could ruin anything at all. I almost got it, but I'm about ready to say, like, never mind. I don't care about a rug at this point. Tell me why me and this chair beefing. But my husband just admitted, like, I got the chair right. He did have to come over here and help me jimmy it in. He realized that the, the it was flawed. The instructions were flawed. And, like, putting this little bolt in was kind of, like, not working unless you took the back off of it again and then put it in so he had to figure it out too late it wasn't just me so he gave me my credit for doing it right because y'all men is ch this chair wanted the smoke i will say like putting this chair together isn't hard at all it's just y'all i'm telling you like the instructions were not giving i feel like you should put this part on first i don't know that's just me 
I don't see why they would have you do it in any other order because it just didn't make sense. But your girl put this chair together. I had a little help, but like we had to help each other. I was gonna be nice and be like, oh, I'll build two, you build two, I'm over. This chair can, I'm trying to be nice. I don't have to be nice because my mama watching because my mom knows that we're adults, but I'm being nice because y'all watching and y'all more strict than my mama. My mama real cool, y'all be tripping. <laughs> y'all be tripping. Y'all don't want us to say nothing like we ain't grown. But y'all know what this chair can do. I'm going to just say that part. All right. Here's the chair. Let's try her out. She feels sturdy. Oh, this feels good because my back hurts so bad. Blake wants to try it out. He's been waiting patiently. Like, he fits so perfect in there. Perfect. The feet barely touch the ground. I love it. How's it feel? Good? Yeah, good. All right, one down, three more to go. My husband's working on one. That's cute. So we're gonna do two here, two on the ends, and we have a bench. Super cute. So babe, just one moment. Look at the camera. What? You shook on, if I got the chair together, I'd give my rug today, right? Yeah. Do you agree that I put the chair together? Yeah, you put it together. Oh. <laughs> it gave you some. It gave me a hard time for no reason. Like the instructions are trash, y'all. I would start going with my first mind because when I saw it, I was like, I should put this little part in first, but the instructions said not to. I shouldn't have listened. <laughs> oh my God, my back. Woo! I have so much respect for people that build furniture for a living because y'all are amazing. Y'all are amazing. And whoever pre-builds this type of furniture for us to just kind of put together at home, y'all amazing too. Just work on them instructions, okay? Give us a little more. People like me, I need more words. Maybe some sentences instead of pictures that don't make any sense to me. They don't need to write I, it don't have to be a novel. Maybe a sentence like, put the silver screw in hole A. Is that too hard to do? This kind of is cringe. Don't, don't think about that too deep because... Cringe. <laughs> but y'all, um, the chair is looking lovely. My black accent's about to come through, be popping up in here. I'm excited. But yeah, hubby, he, he's the one that's gonna build the rest of them. And when he's done, I'll come back and show y'all. I'm about to wash my hands and get dinner done because your girl is starving. So we'll be back later. All right, y'all, it's like a little later. We had dinner. We have to run out. We just got back home and I want to show y'all how the chairs turned out. So here they are y'all. The table is finally complete. It has all of its chairs. This is how they look. So if you've been here a while, very similar to the last chairs I got, but they don't curve around. And that was the most annoying part, even though it was cute for everyday functionality, we didn't like it. So I love these. They're really sturdy. They're not wobbling. They came with like the furniture pads on the bottom um, to protect the floor. Yeah, we really like them. They look really good, y'all. And so they do make this exact style bar stool that I'll put at the island. Um, So I've already saved them, so I'll end up getting those. That'll be cute. They look so good. Like I'm really, really happy with how they're looking, tying in the black with the wood tones and creams and everything that I like, but super cute. I'm really happy with them, y'all. Like happy with the quality. Building them wasn't bad. It was just that little this piece right here that was a little tricky, but I did it. Husband said I did it, which means I'm about to buy my rug. And he's like, mm, I don't remember. I don't recall. Like we ain't doing that. <laughs> do you recall now, sir? Yeah. Yay. <laughs> but y'all, another thing I wanted to tell y'all while I got the camera out. You see these blinds here? Absolutely don't like them. That one right there that's messed up. It was messed up when we got here. I guess like somebody coming in and out had broken it. But it's okay because I'm going to completely take these down and just hang curtains. We keep it open all day long anyways. So it's nothing to hang curtains and close them at night. So that's what I'm going to do. The small windows, I'm not sure that I want to do curtains just because they're so small. But maybe, I don't know yet. I haven't decided. But I know for a fact here, I'm going to do like some some linen type of curtains. Um, I'm either gonna use the ones I already have that I love. I'm really thinking about getting like blackout ones, just for something a little heavier for those really hot summer days where I wanna like keep some of the heat out. So I'll probably do that, but here's the chairs again. So nice, we love them. And now my kids don't have to sit next to each other on the bench and fight each other because they don't like sitting next to each other. They're not used to it. 
<laughs> so yeah super nice i like them y'all i like them they bring me so much joy now and yes the box is still back there my husband gonna take it out so now i'm just waiting on my table to be here soon but yeah super happy yay hey y'all what's up happy thursday um today is april one of these days y'all april 11 hold on let me take this out it's falling out um and y'all my coffee table is here i'm super excited i'm so excited y'all so my coffee table is here and i've been making some other decisions about like things in the house um just ordering some things i got a new rug for the living room but <clears throat> i don't think it's coming until next week so we won't even get into that on well we might get it this video i'm not exactly sure when it comes but if it does before i put this vlog out then of course i'll show y'all that but i'm excited my coffee table is in this box down here and i do have some more random stuff i ordered from amazon like garbage disposal cleaners because that garbage disposal get real trifling okay it'd be stank it'd be stank I got some trash bags. I like these lavender ones because they smell really good. Some downy dryer sheets. If you don't like dryer sheets, that's personal. Keep it to yourself. It really don't benefit people when you tell us what you don't like and what you don't use because we're going to do us, okay? But thank you. Thank you. I got some downy scent bees. This time I got April Fresh because I got the um, April Fresh dryer sheets. And I mean, it's April. Why not, you know? And also just some Tide Pods here. I also got some other stuff, but y'all already took it upstairs. I got some towels, um, some toothbrush covers that don't fit my toothbrush. I got some body wash, which I might actually go up there and show y'all the stuff I got later. But right now I'm downstairs making dinner and stuff like that. So I'm down here, but I think I'm gonna open this. I'm pretty sure you at least have to put the legs together. And if y'all saw me struggle the other day, um with the chairs then you should already know like your girl ain't i ain't trying to do that today so yeah that's the whole thing and excuse my ultra poofy hair those braids i had in y'all i went ahead and took them down so like now your girl is just rocking her natural that's why i usually have my hair in twists because i have big hair like crazy hair um so i usually like tame it in like two strand twists so that it, th this just feels crazy to me like tomorrow it probably won't look like this we'll see but today's been a good day i actually like didn't even work out yet i am gonna walk i started 75 hard not hard 75 soft on april 1st and y'all i started filming it and then i told my husband like legit i can i'm just not the everyday vlog type of person like i'm it's just not me like it it feels like a lot <clears throat> And I know y'all like, it, it doesn't seem like a lot, but for me, it feels like a lot, you know? So I'll just be ch checking in with y'all periodically and letting y'all know how it's going for me. Today is day 10. What's today? The 11th? Day 10? Um, or is it day 11? I don't know, child. One of them days. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's very possibly day 11. I don't know. But it's going good. I am going to walk. I hate walking when I... Like, sorry, my <laughs> scalp is sore. Um, I hate walking when my hair is out because it's gonna sweat, but <clears throat> it's the name of the game. Um, I'm gonna walk sometime later this evening. But yeah, I decided to go ahead and get two more Billy Book cases. So I'm probably gonna order them tonight for them to come either tomorrow or the next day. We'll see, tomorrow's Friday. So I'm gonna try to order them here in a minute. I also took my nails off, but I made myself some nails. So I'm gonna put those on tonight. And then I gotta like do my toes to match because I don't know, I'm kind of into that these days. Like, I don't know, I like that. So I found some chairs that I love, love, love for my office. I showed my mom and she loves them too. So I think I'm gonna go with those. I'm trying to find them somewhere where the shipping isn't almost $200 because $170 for shipping is, that's just a lot. That's crazy to me. But the shipping on these chairs is $170. So I'm like, you know, but I do like them a lot. So I might end up paying it anyways. Um, but yeah, I'm about to order my bedroom rug. I ordered the living room rug. I'm gonna have bookcases, chairs. Y'all, we about to have a lot of updates coming back to back to back. Like we're getting this house together. I'm about to order the bar stools tonight. Like we're just getting it done, honey. And then I want to get a new entryway table i decided that this entryway table is beautiful i love it but i got it in this length and size because our last entryway was really small this one is much bigger um it's just a longer space so i really think that i should go with 
a slightly longer table. So I'm glad I didn't open that box over there with the mirror because if I get a longer table, I may possibly need a larger round mirror. But I think I'm gonna use this one in the mud area. I think I've decided to just go with like shoe cabinets. I did look at the ones from Ikea that one of you guys recommended. I like them, but they're so narrow. And I have a good amount of space um, and I don't want it to look out of place. So I'm just gonna go with like cabinets and we can like put shoes inside of them, shut the doors, put like a, a cute bowl on top for like keys and stuff and um, call it a day, put a mirror on top of it. I think that'll be cute. It sounds cute in my head. Now it's just a matter of finding it. I'm trying not to rush that process because I'm not 100% on it and I don't like to be too hasty. And it may seem like, oh, you're being hasty with this, but like, I've been looking at stuff for so long, even before we move. So, and I kind of have a vision of how I want things to look. You know, I have a little bit of inspo, but not really, I don't, I'm not really looking for inspo. I'm at the point in like my home decor stage where I, I kind of just know what I like. So I go off of that. I look for exactly what I like and I go with that. Um, and I think that's a good way to like set your decor apart and make it speak to you. Cause like, I could have made these decor, these uh, shelves really aesthetic with like vases and trinkets and this and that. But I'm a bookie. Like I like books and I do nails. Um, if I put like a whole bunch of home decor, that doesn't speak to who I am as a person. And as a person, like I'm a girl who's my family, they out there playing with a frisbee and they keep hitting the door. And I'm like, what is that? Oh, in my, um, in my last vlog, I was showing y'all those cute like acrylic display stands. They've been out for delivery all day. I don't know where I set my phone. But hopefully they're coming sometime tonight. Um, Cause I think that's gonna look really, really cute on my shelves. I'll kind of rearrange some stuff and then I'll show y'all how it's turning out either today or tomorrow. I don't know. I know for a fact I will get this table unboxed today. Now it, okay, listen. If you don't think it looks cute today when I show y'all in the living room, it's the rug. It's the rug. And I say that because the new rug I'm getting is going to like tie everything together. And then I'll go out. Once I get all the furniture pieces, that's when we can go out and we can shop for like home decor pieces, um, stuff for the walls and stuff like that. But right now I just really want to get the furniture in place and then we can decorate around the furniture because any other way just don't make sense to me. My brain don't operate like that. So this is a super long daily intro. I'm kind of like stalling because I really want my husband to come and put the table together because your girl ain't about to struggle like I did the other day. But at least wanted to tell y'all that I got the table. Yeah. And um, I'll show y'all how it turned out. Y'all, I'm super excited. I just want, oh, I just want to give y'all a couple of updates. I'm still looking for curtains. Um, have y'all heard of two pages? A lot of people like get their curtains with them. You can get them on Amazon, but it's called two pages and they have really nice pleated, um, like blackout or room darkening curtains that I think I'm going to get for the sliding door. Cause those like those, those blinds that you slide, they got to go, honey. I don't like them. I don't, I don't like them. No shade. If you have them, that is, I don't personally like them. I think curtains look better. I feel like something's crawling on my foot. I think curtains look better. So we're gonna go with some cute curtains. Um, and I'm gonna do curtains in here. And I may just stick with the curtains I already have. I have beautiful linen, lightweight curtains. I need a lot of natural sunlight when I'm in here um, working and doing nails. So we may just stick with that. We'll see, your girl's a little indecisive. But anyway, this is a nine minute chat, y'all. And it's, oh my goodness, it's 5.52. Okay, so it's almost, <laughs> It's almost six o'clock. So honey, let me go get these people. They outside having a great time. It has rained for the past like four days. I think a lot of people have been getting storms because I was talking to my sister yesterday and she was saying how crazy like the tornadoes and like the storms have been there. So I think a lot of people have been getting crazy winds and like rain. We've been getting crazy thunderstorms and like when the rain hits these windows when I'm upstairs, I can't sleep. It's I'm not used to it. I gotta get used to it. But yeah, so the weather's been crazy. Today is sunny. So of course, taking advantage and being outside, like we really do enjoy being outside, especially here. We have been enjoying our yard. Y'all been asking, have we loved, how do we like the house? We absolutely love it here. Like we just love it. We're enjoying like the inside, but we really enjoy being outside. It's just been so nice. Anyway, y'all, I'm gonna get off of here with my long chat and I'll come back when it's time to put the table together, okay? All right, y'all, it's time. We done finished eating dinner pretty much. And um, the pieces are down here. Let me show y'all. So here's the pieces of the table. Just the feel of it is really nice. It's gonna be so cute 
cute and it seems like it'll be fairly simple to put together wood dust Cancer. Yo, I swear I can't, I can't. Like you can't even buy furniture. All right, all right. Let's get this table put together. Usually I don't post. I don't post. I don't post. Usually I don't post, but I want the world to know. Time to pull a drop top out. Summer night. When we just be vibing, I be watching like TikTok live forcing it on my man because he don't do social media and i like that about him it's attractive for your man to not be on social media all day scrolling but it's entertaining so we just do it together this table is so cute already and like the new rug when y'all see it is so cute like i i genuinely do want a new couch but that's a purchase i'm not willing to rush anymore because like when we got this couch, it was kind of a rush thing because our old couches were just so bad and old. I don't hate these couches, um, so I'm not in a rush to get rid of them. I can't rush to get another couch, y'all. Like, I can't do it. So, um, it's going to take a while. So, for now, once I have this table and the new rug, the living room is pretty much complete. I'm definitely going to do some kind of, like, tree or something somewhere here for some greenery. I'm going to do some art on the walls. I'll start looking for some once everything is done. Um, some curtains for sure, but that's pretty much gonna be the living room. I have ideas on coffee table styling We're not gonna do it today because like I said, I'm gonna get everything in here like the rug and stuff and then we'll do some styling I think that's the fun part. This part to me is fun too because I get to see the house go from like super empty and just bare Echoey to having stuff in it that I really like like this table was Decently affordable. It depends on your budget and what you consider affordable. But if you do like it, I will link this. I got it from Wayfair. Um, and it came really fast. Like the shipping on Wayfair is not bad at all. Like I get everything within a couple of days after I order it. So I love that. I think the next thing that'll come is the rugs and also the um counter bar stools that'll probably be next. And then my bookcases. I'm, I'm gonna try to get them to come tomorrow. We'll see, we'll see. I don't even have anything to put on the bookcases because I need more books, but that's just motivation for me to like buy more books. <laughs> Your girl loves a good book, so I'll give me more books. Like maybe I'll do like a book haul and buy myself, you know, I don't know, a bunch of books because I haven't been buying physical books because I've been really into my Kindle lately. Y'all, that Kindle, I love it. But I do like a good physical book. Um, it makes me like stay up, which is why I'm trying to get chairs because I have to sit up. When I have my Kindle, y'all just be laid out in the bed reading. Is it done? Mm -hmm. Ah, amazing. Okay, let's flip it over. Oh, it's so cute. All right, let me turn it around and show y'all how it's looking. All right, so here's the table, y'all. I gotta wipe it off. It has some like styrofoam, but I love it. It's all texture. It's so nice. The legs are cute. My child is cute on the couch reading his book. But look, it looks so good. I know the TV stand is white, but like y'all, I'm emotionally attached to it. I like it a lot, so it's gonna stay, I think. But I love, 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 love the table. I think the legs look really, really nice. Like that's what I like about it the most. And I was debating between this one and another style. The other style that I wanted is probably like the one I would have picked, but it had horrible, horrible reviews. And I'm definitely like a person who reads the reviews. And if the reviews are bad, the product is bad. I'm not going to buy something with awful reviews. Just like, I don't want a pretty piece of crap. You know what I mean? So I ended up with this one. It's a nice size table. Oh, and it's heavy. Okay, you're not going to just be shifting this around. It's, it's a big, nice size table. It takes up a good amount of space. It's decently heavy. Like... My other table, you could just like move it all over the place. This one is solid. I had to put some oomph into it, so. I really like it. I'm gonna switch out my pillow covers um, once I get my rug. But yeah, every, just seeing like things come together makes me so happy. So of course, I'm happy to share that with y'all. But let me know what you think. I'll give y'all one more peek, okay? It's so cute, y'all. And it does, like, can you tell? That it takes up a good amount of space because it definitely does come around here. Excuse my tripod. I love it. That's cute. Y'all, this rug, it's been through everything with us, but it's time to like get put away. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to get rid of it. I'm just going to keep it out in the garage for a while. But it's really nice. I like it. And I could even switch this one into my office and then keep the vibe light. Hmm. That's a possibility, y'all. Let me know what y'all think. My office is a mess because I've been doing nails in here today and stuff like that. So it's quite a mess. So disregard. But the house is definitely coming along. 
I'm in love. In love with this little table. I need to get it wiped off, but it's so cute. Hey y'all, good morning, happy Friday. Welcome back to another day. Woo y'all, so I'm so happy it's Friday. Um, I don't know why I look forward to the weekend, but I do. Um, but I got my little acrylic display stand yesterday. So of course I want to show y'all. These are the ones I got. I was showing y'all kind of on my phone, but I really like them. So it came with that one and then a smaller size. So I'm gonna put some like double-sided like tape and I have some regular, I'm really sitting here debating like which tape I want to use. Obviously this, this kind of requires me to like cut and size it off and the other one is easier. I don't know if I'm going for easy, let's see. I think I may end up just cutting and sizing. And I'm also like sitting here with my little nail book. Cause I'm trying to figure out which ones I'm gonna display. Like right off the top of my head, I see some that I for sure wanna display for spring and summer. But I think this thing can fit like 20 something. I think it's like 20 something, so. Yeah, I'm just gonna display like some nails that I think are cute. And then I like that I could just pop them off and switch them out. So that'll be fun. Yesterday I made these nails for myself, super springy. I thought they were cute. Um, I like them. I applied them on live last night. So if you caught the live, thank you for popping in and saying hello. I appreciate y'all. I worked out last night and my hair got so poofy that I put it in this big ball in the back of my head because y'all, as soon as the sweat touched my hair, it's over with. I'm definitely about to um, retwist my hair. <laughs> That's why I always have my hair in like mini twists because it just keeps my hair healthy. Um, I don't have to touch it. There's not a lot of um, manipulation to it. And also, it's just easier. I don't like, you know, the process of like taking it down, but it's always worth it to give yourself like a fresh wash. I feel like I need to wear gloves when handling this because geez, the fingerprints are crazy. Maybe I'll do that. Let's put, don't I have some gloves here? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's put some gloves on. This will help with the fingerprints because they are crazy. Like it doesn't matter, but it matters. I'm getting ready to order some chairs for in front of my um, desk. They'll be in front of the window. I'm just like indecisive a little bit. I'm like going back and forth between two sets. Chairs are so expensive, like crazy expensive. And like, yeah, I could return it, but I'm like not really a return stuff type of person. Like I don't like making returns. It, to me, it's just an inconvenience. It's a hassle. And um, I'm more prone to like keeping something or giving it away before I return it. And I know like you can go on like marketplace or something and try to sell it, but people don't want to give you your money's worth. If I spend full price, what makes you think I'm about to give it to you for less than half? No, it's not happening. I'm just debating. I'm gonna let my husband decide once he get out his media, I'm gonna send him two links. I'm gonna say which one, and I'm gonna go ahead and order it today and get that out the way. I was trying to order my Billy bookcases last night, but they are currently like not in stock at my store. I'm really torn because to me, these would look adorable on my desk with nails on them, but we'll see. All right, so I think we're gonna do three across and maybe one, two, three. Let's do like four, four rows, maybe five. The picture on Amazon, they had like five rows, but you know, I'm gonna use this as a guide of how long the tape should be. And then I wanna go in the pantry and like fill some of my containers finally because I don't know why I haven't done that. There's one, it's clear, so it probably looks like nothing there, but it's there. All right, y'all got all the tape on it. I wanna show y'all how the first one looks. So it's gonna look like it's just floating on there. Isn't that cool? That looks so good. So now I'm just looking through and seeing which nail designs I wanna put on here, but I thought that was cute. What you think, Blake? Yeah, cool. it looks good. Yeah. This is like exceeding my expectations. Not really, <laughs> but it sounded cool to say. But seriously though, I really like it. I think it's gonna be so cute once I have all the nails on here that I wanna display. And I'm just being random with this. You don't have to hide, sweetie. <laughs> Blake's here hanging out with me, y'all. Ah, my fingers are getting stuck to it. Y'all, this tape is so sticky for real, for real. Sticky. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's just tape. <laughs> Yeah, 
<laughs> not him checking me. All right, y'all, I'm done with it. It looks so cute. So far, I've only done one of them. The second one, I feel like I want to save for like fresh new designs that I'm about to start working on, but let me show you. Stop. Like, why is this so cute? Can y'all even tell? It's adorable. I love this. I'm proud of like all of my nail designs. They're all so different. I don't like putting myself in a box when it comes to making nails. Like, I'll try anything. So cute. I think I want to keep this one clear because I'm starting to work on, like, spring, summer nails. So, I don't want to, like, fill it up yet. But, yeah, that's looking so, so good. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of break. And then I think I'm going to work um, on some restocking. Like, not restocking. Like, re um, actually filling some of the containers in the pantry so I can get it looking a little bit better. All right, y'all. I'm about to do some rearranging on these shelves just a little bit to kind of figure out where I want to put it. This one's going to look weird because it's just going to be clear. But like I said, I'm about to work on nail designs and like I could work on one or two designs a day and get this filled. It's only going to have, let's see, two, four, six, maybe eight designs on here. So not too much. I'm going to start with this one. It's kind of like a lot going on. So I think I'm just going to shift some things around. Like I love the way these look. But I do want to add my um, want to add my nail trays. I don't really know where I'm gonna put them this year, but you know. That's kind of cute. Okay, and then for these, I kind of like how the rest looks. I borrowed a book up here. I'm currently reading, so that's why that looks empty. And then this side. Now I have a few extra books. I got this little like glass, like, I don't know. But I have like book stickers and I have my bookmarks. And I have like a little nail keychain that one of my friends got me in there. It's so cute. This is what it's giving. It'll get rearranged a lot more as I get more books. Finish the nail stand. I do like these nails display here. And I purposely put them on this row. Just because I don't want my kids messing with my nails. You know, they'll come and like pull them off display and I don't want that so I put them up a little bit higher if they really wanted to reach it they could but I thought that was cute y'all I'm so upset because I thought I was filming and this whole time I wasn't but I just ordered the chairs my husband I sent him um both options and he chose the ones I thought he would let me just show y'all again real quick because I did not hit record. I went back to look at the clip and it wasn't there. These are the chairs that I ordered. I'm trying to block out some of that light. And they are like barrel chairs. They swivel. I love that. They're in a light camel color, which I think it'll play off nicely with the rug I have in here now. Or the rug that's in my living room. Because I was telling y'all, I don't know which one I'm going to go with. But I like them a lot. And I'm, I got them in that color specifically. Because I didn't want to go too, too light to me. It's just impractical. It looks nice and aesthetic. But like, we live here. I have two children. Myself, who's like a huge kid. And I spill stuff all the time. And I'm working with a lot of stuff in here. So I just want to make sure it's cozy and comfy. But yeah, I think they're going to look super nice in here. They were, they're on sale right now, like a deal of the day. It's a set of two. I'm excited. They're supposed to come between the 17th and the 19th. Today is the 12th. So um, you'll probably most definitely have to wait and see that in the next vlog. But just know that I ordered it and I'm so excited. I was also saying I was going to order a couple more of those uh, acrylic shelves for nails. Because I think that'll look cute. Plus, I feel like. Because I make nails so frequently, I'm going to run out and I'll have a lot of nails that I think are cute and want to rotate and display. So I'll probably just get a couple more. I may get a different design and whatever. But for now, I'm about to go in there and prep me some overnight oats real quick so I can have some lunch. Maybe. We'll see. I'm going to ask my husband what he want to do for lunch. I may go prep some oats. And if I don't, we'll just fill those pantry containers I was telling y'all about. In the kitchen and I have my containers out. So I have these that are for cereal here. I kind of want to get new cereal containers, but I'm going to use what I got for now. And this is the only cereal we currently have. This is what my daughter likes. All these containers have already been washed, dried, laid to the side. <laughs> so, we're just going to fill up some containers, y'all. <laughs> All that does definitely just disrespecting me <laughs> that's funny now I recycle this thank you thank you right 
Done. Now we have brown sugar, sugar, and flour. All right, brown sugar. You want red velvet cookies? All right, I gotta go to the store for that. They're good, she wants some red velvet cookies. They are so good. That looks so much better already. Up top, I just have like empty containers. Honestly, this will probably just be like small appliances anyways, cause there's so much space in here. But it looks pretty good in there, y'all. It looks pretty good. I'm happy with like how everything is turning out and coming together. Um, Just a few more pieces to get and then I can like do a little bit of decor. I don't like a whole lot of decor. Like I'm not, I don't like that. <laughs> it's just not my vibe, but I do like a little decor. It's like this little area here I started on and I like these flowers here i just feel like it added a little bit of something here so it's pretty cute not doing too much and then this side over here i'm getting a new knife set and then i'll keep this here i grabbed this from walmart it was like six dollars literally everybody has one at this point because it's six dollars and it's cute but i grabbed this little planter and i'm gonna find some florals to put in it i just don't have any yet this is my food scale but my plan is to put some cookbooks here. I ordered like a little candle warming lamp. It'll go here. Um, a few cookbooks, this with some florals and a new knife set. And this is, this will be complete. So I'll be happy with that. I'm not gonna put anything on the island because as you can see, it's already got a lot of stuff. Like I have to recycle that, but just any amount of things make this look cluttered because the sink is here. But yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it for right now this morning. I'm gonna take me a break and go check on my hubby and probably start working on some nails. I'm a little stiff. I should probably start editing this video too because these days be going fast. It's already Friday. So yeah, I need to get started on some editing so y'all can get vlogs on time. Cause y'all be messaging me like, uh, hello, where's the new video? <laughs> and I love that y'all look forward to seeing the videos. It just takes me so long to edit them because I don't know, I just nitpick everything. You want some water? Okay. But yeah, y'all, I'm gonna get off for now, but I will come back later. Hey y'all, what's up? Happy Sunday. Y'all, excuse me for looking absolutely tragic. <laughs> I was outside doing some yard work. My husband was like cutting the grass and I was helping. Kids were outside playing. So I'm a little, looking a little raggedy, but it's okay. We're gonna do our hair today, today. But I got a couple updates y'all. I got a couple things I wanna share with y'all, of course. So should we go big or go small? Let's go small first. So I'll show y'all this because I think it's super cute. And of course, so many people have these, but I just wanted one so bad and it's adorable. So look. So I got one of these like candle warmer lamp situations y'all. And when I tell y'all I love it, let me plug it up. Y'all, I don't know. I got in the habit of like unplugging stuff when I'm not using it. I don't know. I just feel like that's safe, you know? I have to adjust that to a recording showing, but look how cute. Power cord, it has like the power button to cut it on. You can set a timer here for two hours, four hours, eight hours. I usually set a timer so it'll go off and then you can turn it up or down depending on, you know, how much you want it to warm up. So like, let's turn it on. So cute. I'm gonna put it on the two hour timer because um, I actually, I'm about to do hair and then run some ears. So two hour timer, look how cute. Y'all, this is so adorable. And it, the scent is amazing. Like when I used to burn this candle, it wasn't giving off much. But now that I'm warming it, it's giving off so much. Like it smells amazing. So this little area is almost complete. I just gotta replace this knife set. Um, and then I'm gonna find some florals here. And I wanna like stack some cute little cookbooks because I like trying new recipes and stuff. So I think that'll be cute, but it's adorable. And if you're looking for one and you like this one, I will have a link. But yeah, I thought that was super cute. All right, now um, I showed y'all like the coffee table, the chairs. Yesterday, I got some curtains and then I had to order more panels. Um, I'll show y'all why and I got a curtain rod or whatever. And so we took down the little sliding blinds. I told y'all they had to go um, and put the curtains up and I absolutely love them, y'all. I love them. So here are the curtains. I'm showing y'all from a distance first but these are so nice i love them they're so pretty they're this natural linen material they are pleated here you can see they're so nice look at the texture on these curtains 
And these are line, these are blackout curtains. I thought this would be best um, to get blackout curtains for those really, really hot days to keep some of the heat out. But y'all, I love them. And this is two panels, y'all. Like, so I have four panels in total because I like it to look nice and full and it gives just that. I am about to steam them because they're wrinkled. We just put them up. I don't know if the light is catching. They are kind of wrinkled. So I put, as you can see, this is where the first one ends. And I mean, that would have been okay. But to me, it just wasn't given this like nice, I don't know, more of a like higher end look. But I love them. They look so good, obviously. Like trying to show y'all something with the sun right here is not it. So the other two windows here and here currently do not have curtains. I probably most definitely will get the same ones just to keep it consistent. All right, I had to set y'all up so I can talk, but. So yeah, I think that's a really good price range for curtains that look so good. Like they're not super expensive. Um, They're not gonna be the cheapest curtains you get. There are about, I would say 30 something dollars a panel. To me, that's not bad. Depends on who you are, but I, I love this look. I knew I wanted that natural linen. I actually have the same, pretty much the same type of curtain that are just sheer, like more sheer, not blind, uh, not blackout. Um, and I had those for years and I love them. So I knew I wanted to go with the same like natural color and everything. I was even debating on the two smaller windows. Should I do like the shears? I don't know. I feel like that might look weird because everything's so close. Um, but y'all can let me know. But yeah, so did that last night and they look amazing. I do have my steamer down here because I want to steam the curtains, but I'm debating on like doing it later on because I got to get my daughter's hair done. And then tonight I'll start retwisting mine because this is why I don't wear my hair out because it gets crazy frizzy. Um, but also y'all, I got some more books for my shelves in there. So I do wanna show y'all like a little book haul and then we'll put some more books on the shelves and everything. I'm so excited. I love getting new books. I told y'all like new books just got my heart. <laughs> so let me show y'all what I got. All right y'all, so I'ma just start with a book that um, I don't have in a series. There is a second one, but I didn't buy it because it was like $37 and I gotta make sure I like this book before I get a $37 book. So I got My Dark Romeo here. I got this one because I was on TikTok last night, like book talk, just looking at books because you know, I have bookshelves now. And um, this one had like really good reviews. So My Dark Romeo. And like I said, I think the second part of that, I don't think I ordered it just yet. Also, so I ordered the Sacred Stone series. This one is A Promise of Paradise. So I got this one. The other two books, I believe, are Alpha Delivery. So they'll be here today. I also got the Dark Olympus series. I think the first one is called Neon Gods or something like that. I think it's a six or seven part series. I think seven. So I have three of them here. I have Wicked Beauty, which is book number three. Cruel Seduction, I think is book number five. And then I have Midnight Ruin, which is book number six. Book number seven hasn't come out yet. I think you can pre-order and it comes out in August. So I have these. I'm just waiting on the other ones to come today. And then I also got, let me see what the name of this series is. y'all. This one is called, all right, so this is the Deliciously Dark Fairy Tale series. So book one is A Ruin of Roses. I have A Throne of Ruin. This one is Thick Boy. And then I have a kingdom of ruin. And I think I'm waiting for a queen of ruin, if I'm not mistaken. I'm excited about these books though, y'all, cause like they have really good reviews. I was about to get a book called, oh my God, what's the name of that book? But it kind of freaked me out. A ha Haunting Adeline or something, or a Haunting Adeline. I think they're two different ones. But have y'all read that? Let me know if it's worth me getting because like I was looking at reviews and some people was like absolutely not and then a bunch of people was like yes get this book so mm, I'm torn on that one. <laughs> these are going to definitely get me started. I'm excited to have these series and once I get them all I like to stack um, series together just because they look pretty like that. But like when you stack a series together look how good that looks. I like that. And then this one. I don't know if there's two or three. Let's see. Let's see, y'all. If you're a bookie, stick with me. Hang out. Hang out with me. Even if you ain't, like, I could turn you into a bookie. If I start sitting down and telling y'all about these books, you're going to want to read them. You're going to wish it was a movie because the shows that are out right now are absolutely poo. There's just no good shows. Like, me and my husband were talking about last night. There are no good shows out there. They suck. All of them suck. 
You be scrolling through Netflix, nothing to watch. Okay, so I'm glad y'all watching me on YouTube because TV sucks right now. Okay, no shade, but it does. Okay, so this series has, oh wait, y'all, I lied. The second book, I'm about to order right now. I must didn't see this last night. So My Dark Romeo, the second book is called My Dark Desire. Maybe I did order it. I feel like I did. Maybe it's on the way. And then the third one, is this the third one? What's the third one called? My Dark Desire is out for pre-order, but I see that I could order the unsigned one. Y'all, I don't need my book to be signed. No shade to the authors. I respect y'all. Y'all doing y'all thing. When I was growing up, I wanted to be an author so bad. Like, I wanted to write books and stories. So, like, mad respect. But, girl, I don't need your signature on this book, okay? No shade. Or a guy or whoever you are. But so far, we have these. And I'm super excited about all of these books. I'm about to go wash my daughter's hair real quick. Get it dried. And then, then we'll steam the curtains. And I think my rugs should be coming today. I don't know. They're not out for delivery, which kind of breaks my heart. So, if you don't see the rugs in today's video, you'll see them in the next video. And um, I know y'all over there, like, you ain't show us the outside area whatever it, it ain't that cute y'all it's just the treadmill setup but i mean i'll show y'all i keep forgetting because i filmed 75 soft and then i decided like we're not putting these vlogs out like it's too much i'm not gonna be doing this every day for the next two and a half months it's od i like to give y'all these type of vlogs so forgive me but maybe i'll clip the part where i showed how it looks and put it in this video and that'll make y'all happy that's probably what we're gonna do if I can find it. All right, y'all, it is later. I have napped and relaxed a little bit. Um, I just plugged up the steamer. I'm about to get it warmed up, y'all. I ain't using it forever, so hopefully it works. I've had this thing forever. Like, if you follow me from my Squeaky Clean Life channel to now, you know, that's the same steamer I've been using for years. So hopefully it's good. I'm just seeing these curtains. I don't even. I'm not like a regular steamer. I'm not going to be steaming my curtains, you know, every other week or once a month or anything crazy like that. I literally steam them and I hang them up. And if I wash them and um, put them back up, I'll steam them again. But that's on time curtains get stained over here, okay? But they are pretty, pretty wrinkled. I'll try to show y'all again. So, I don't know if you can tell, but they are pretty wrinkled. So, I want to at least try to get, you know, some of these wrinkles out. Don't care what you're doing to me. I've been down in the ruins so deep. All the games they have played, all the love you've forsaken, you let it slip. So, one uh, full thing of water in the steamer, the both of these curtains. Um, there's still a couple of spots that I could hit up, but they look a thousand times better, like a thousand percent. All right, y'all, I am done. Excuse my table, we actually live in our house. But I'm done. That steamer had me hot. But these look so good. I love the pleats. I know I could do a little better, but I think I did pretty good. Like, the bottom, just don't look at that, okay? Cause I can't, t I have a steamer that you can't really tip over. So the bottom isn't as good as it could be, but it looks pretty good. So there is that. I absolutely love them. I love the fullness of the double panels. I think it looks amazing. Hey y'all, what's up? Good morning. Happy Monday. It's a new week. Hope everybody's feeling refreshed and ready. You're ready, ready to conquer a new week. Y'all, so yesterday, um my, the rest of my books came i'm super excited about that and also we got two rugs one for the living room and one for upstairs i'm gonna try them out see if they work if not i'll send them back and try something else but i'm hoping that they work because i don't want to do all that it's such a hassle so anyways i was sitting here making nails these will be posted on my tiktok and my instagram probably today so i'll show you all these are the nails i made i'm not sure how clear it looks so cute. I love the texture on these. I'm actually considering making these to wear. But it kind of took me quite a while, so I don't know. But the rest of my... Let's put my nail polishes up, y'all. So yesterday, I decided to put my nail polishes on this, this cart here. It's just so much easier. So I have all of these polishes here. And I actually use, if you can see, there's like organizers in there. So I actually did use my organizers to keep them straight. I ran out at the bottom, but that's okay. And I do kind of have 
them organized the way I like them. So like brands and um, numbers. Some of them are like number organized. I'm trying to keep this like nail sign here, but mm -hmm. oh, there we go. There we go. So we have to put our polishes up before I can show y'all what I want to show y'all. So yeah, I'm just cleaning up my desk area because when I'm doing nails, I pull stuff out and then when I'm done, I put it away effective immediately because it's just better. Like, don't put it down, put it away. I'm really trying to do that all the time. Like, just make that my thing. So once I'm done with it, I put it up. I showed y'all uh, a promise of paradise and then Dawn of Onyx came here so cute and then the rest of this series i don't know which one i was missing yesterday i think it was a queen of ruin so that's here it's huge the second one to this one i think doesn't come till tomorrow and i got this series completed now i think we were just missing the first one and maybe the second one i'm not really sure if i showed y'all these electric Idol and then Neon Gods. Can't wait to read these. If you've read any of these series, let me know down in the comments below. What did you think of them? What do you rate them? Um, I'll still read a book if you rated a one or a two or three, whatever. I like to like come to my own conclusion about stuff, but I do like hearing how people feel about books. We're all different. We're gonna interpret things differently. Certain things we're gonna like more than other people. That's just the way of life. That's just how the world goes. These books, I know for sure, we're gonna go and help fill in some of this space. That I know that it looks like an empty space at the top, but y'all, I'm reading that book and that's its spot, so we're not gonna fill that. All right, so this is how my shelves are looking now with the new books on there. I love it. I'm leaving room because there's two more books for this series, so there's space right there. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put the nails that are on there, but once I have the nails on there, I'll be able to see it better. This is how everything's looking. It's definitely filling up a lot and it looks so good. I'm really happy with it. So anyway, let's move on. These are the rugs. I love how they're kind of folding rugs now, making it easier to like return and like, you know, saving space. Anyways, I have this one. I got this for my living room. It's so beautiful. I love the colors in it. Um, if you thought I was gonna get a plain rug, <laughs> you thought wrong, it's not my vibe, but I love it love it so super much and i got this one for my bedroom so i'm trying to bring together the colors in an ice stand so it kind of has like grays and like taupes and creams and then like a little black which is the colors that are in my room so hopefully that looks good all right now we're gonna work on the living room rug this is the rug that's currently in my living room i love it there's nothing wrong with it it's just not the vibe anymore i used to do a lot of like light wood you know like really 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 neutral now i'm still neutral however i have started incorporating like a moodier neutral more into like pops of black and stuff like that so we're gonna switch this rug out. It's gonna really bring in the table. I do have different pillow covers. So I'll switch those out, y'all. My couch looks like this daily. We live here, okay? It really does look like this every day. I'm not even gonna flex. I could have cleaned this up and came on here and be like, oh, here's my living room. But like, this is just how it looks. Now, it's not a mess by any means, but like the pillows don't get fluffed every night. They just don't. Depends on how I'm feeling. And usually I'm feeling like going to bed. But anyways, I am going to get this rug from under here the best I can. Once we put the new rug, we'll see how we like it. If I don't like it, I can return it. But I hope I like it because that is such a hassle. <laughs> You can't be faithful, but I hope she's cool. Unlike you, you ain't ready for a girlfriend. No, uh oh, cause you think I'll steal your weekends. No, uh oh, so you make up shitty reasons. For, uh oh, want it out. See, I'm not even mad, boy, but I'm cool. Y'all, it's so cute. Can you tell? It's so cute, and it's super duper. When I say super duper, it's so soft. So I'm gonna try to finesse this couch on here and then I'll show y'all. But I feel bad for you. I'm not even mad, I'm not even mad. I'm winded, but it looks so good. I would just say there's a little extra there that I wanna be bring down real quick. And then I think we're good. Let's see. I'm not mad, I'm not mad. I just feel bad for you. I was 
pretty when I met ya. Oh, oh, oh. So first and foremost, I just want to thank my mom and my dad for that super Hulk strength that y'all just gave me. Whew, I can't believe I did that, y'all. I think it looks so good. I'm going to vacuum it to relax it a little bit. But it's so cute. Now I'm prettier than ever. Oh, oh, oh. So this is the rug in the living room. I definitely still have to fix the couch. Here's the up close of it. It looks so good. I'm really glad I chose it because it definitely like warms up the space and it looks amazing. So now I'm about to change my pillow covers and then I'll come show y'all how that looks. But I'm super excited. Like it exceeded my expectations. It is beautiful. It is moody. It ties in. The blacks, the creams, I can even add pops of color that would look so amazing in here. I'm excited, but whew, let me cool down, change the pillows, and then I'll show y'all like the end result. But there's no decor, but you get what I'm saying, like the end result. Y'all, I literally almost forgot to show y'all how it turned out after. Now this isn't like um, fully put together, but you know, it's an after, so let's see. It looks so good, y'all. Sorry if I'm talking low. Everybody's resting and sleeping. I close the curtains because I'm about to go upstairs. But it looks so good. So good. I just switched to my like black pillow covers. I really like them. We love that throw. So it ain't going nowhere. I'm thinking about the cream pillows. I would like if they were like more taupe. So I'll work on that. Other than that, I think it looks really good in here. I have to clean up, so don't judge. But yeah, this is how it turned out. I'm really happy with it. I am gonna add just a little bit of decor on the coffee table, not too much. Not too much, cause we do live in here and play games at the table and stuff like that, but super cute. And now I'm thinking I for sure need to like do curtains all the way across on both of the windows. But let me know what y'all think. Uh, this is how everything turned out. I'll see y'all later. As always, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in and watching today's video. It was a super long one, y'all. It took me a very long time to edit. I'm literally here current day. I'm going to upload it here in just a little while, but I want to come and leave an outro. Thank y'all so much for just watching this super long video. If you did make it all the way to the end, drop your girls some pink hearts in the comments because y'all the real MVP. I really do appreciate y'all. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos. There's tons of more updates to come. Don't forget to hit the like button on your way out and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.